All right, I'm going to go over how to play power chords and some exercises with power chords to kind of get used to playing them and moving them around. A power chord, another name for it is a fifth. It's going to take the first note of the major scale and add the fifth note. One, two, three, four, five. So we have one and five. A common name for it is power chord. This is a movable chord. It can be, be played anywhere. Um, everywhere from open strings to fret, fret it anywhere you want. Um, to make the power chord, you're going to use your index finger and your ring finger. You're going to start with the index finger. We'll, play, we'll start playing on the E and A strings for these power chords. They're two string chords. We can add a third string, but we'll get into that later. Um, you're going to take your first finger, your index finger, and we'll say let's go to the fifth fret for now on the E string. And now our ring finger is always going to be one string down and two frets over. So that makes our ring finger go into the seventh fret on the A string. So wherever we're at, say I'm at the first fret with my index finger on the E string, I'm just going to go down one string and add two frets. So first fret makes my ring finger go to the third fret. If I'm at seventh fret, ring finger goes to the ninth fret. If I'm at the open fret, open string, sorry, I'm going to put my ring finger to the second fret. And there, you don't have to use your ring finger. Um, you can use your index or middle. It makes it easier to go to a power chord on the first fret if you use your middle finger. It's just bringing the fingers down. But it's always the same shape. Start with your root note, your first finger fret, and add. go down one string and add two frets. So if I'm on the A and D string, it'll be the same thing. D and G strings, same exact thing. And for the G and B strings, this is the only place where the power chord is going to change we're going to actually add another fret, so it's three frets away. So if I'm at fret 5 on G with my index finger, I'm going to go to fret 8 on B with my pinky. You could reach with your ring finger, but uh, for this it's going to be more comfortable to just do it like this. Um, then for the B and E strings, it's back to normal. Alright, that's all there is to playing the power chord. Um, just when you're holding the chord, make sure your fingers are low on the frets. When I say low on the frets, if we look at the fifth fret here, here's our top fret wire, and here's our bottom fret wire. So we want to be towards the bottom fret wire. Kind of right snug behind it with both fingers. If you're up too high on the frets, it's easy to have your first finger in a good place, and at first it might feel like an awkward stretch, so this ring finger might start getting too high on the fret. Then you're going to get a lot of string noise and string buzz. So just make sure you're in a good spot on the chords. Now another common problem people are first getting used to power chords is they tend to pull down on the strings and bend the strings a little bit, especially with the index finger. Um, make sure you're pushing directly straight into the fretboard, not pulling down. If I pull down, I'm going to bend the string out of tune and the chord's going to sound out of tune. So I'm just going to push straight down. So now we're going to look at an exercise for get, starting to move the power chord. There's two basic movements we're going to do with power chords. That's fret to fret, or string to string. So I'll go from the E and A strings and drop directly down to the A and D string. So we want to do an exercise that's going to get used to both these movements. First we'll keep it easy, we'll start off with just fret to fret, and we'll make a pretty good distance. I'll say we'll start at the 3rd fret with our index finger and move all the way up to the 7th fret with our index finger. So most guitars is going to be your 1st fret marker and your 3rd fret marker. That means index is on 3rd fret, my ring finger is on the 5th fret of A. When I go to the 7th fret on the E string with my index finger, ring finger is going to be on the 9th fret of D. And what we're going to do is we're going to play this like a song basically four times on each chord back and forth. Because moving forwards and moving back down the neck tends to be a little bit different. Most people have a little bit more difficulty keeping the right formation when you move down the neck. You're gonna, you can't keep your hand perfectly frozen when you're moving power chords. Um, your fingers do have to adjust as the frets do get smaller. So if I lock my hand and move all the way down the neck, all of a sudden I have two frets of distance. So your hands are going to work a little bit like calipers. Um, the higher up on the frets they get, the closer your fingers are going to have to get together. So moving it around is going to get you used to that. Um, once you get this exercise down, 
pick different spots of the neck, try it from open to the third fret, um, try it up in the higher areas, all over so you get a good feel of how to adjust your fingers for the chord. So the first exercise, it's going to just sound like this. to it. Just take your time, Make just work on getting those chord changes nice and clean so it rings out evenly. Um, go slow so you can pay attention to detail and just get the movement down. After, the, after that starts to feel a little bit more natural and comfortable for you, then we're going to incorporate a string change with this exercise. So instead of going side to side, we're actually going to make sort of a rectangular shape on the fretboard. We'll start at the same spot, third fret on the E string, for the index finger, fifth fret on the A string for the ring finger. Then both fingers are just going to drop straight down to a string. So my ring, my index is now on the A string, my ring finger is now on the D string at the seventh fret. I'm sorry, at the fifth fret. Now um, I'm going to shift my hand all the way up to the seventh fret, index on seven of A, ring finger on nine of the D string and then directly straight up to the E and A strings, 7th and 9th fret. Then back to, e, back to the 3rd fret, repeating it. And with this one, try it the same way. Play four times on each chord and just try to stay, keep a rhythm, stay in tempo. If you have a metronome, I really recommend using one. We're kind of getting used to it. There's going to be, we'll go into some more exercises. I'm going to, have to probably cut the video in half and add a couple more parts because there's a 10 minute, 10 minute limit on, on YouTube. Um, so on part two, we'll start going into a little bit more with the exercises and some more technique for playing the power chords and hitting the strings you want to play.